Hi, this is Liz, the Egghead Fixers. Today we're going to be discussing what to do when your Alienware computer won't turn on, freezes, or turns on and off. And as a shout out, this video is a part of a series of videos discusses, that discusses all the possible fix for these said issues. Because as you know, not one repair doesn't call, cover every problem. So if you find this video doesn't fix your problem with your computer, move on to the next video in the series because the, these set of videos are designed to take you through the diagnostic process that a technician would use to figure out what's wrong with your computer. So if this video doesn't work, go down to the description down below and move on to the next video, which is another possible solution for why your computer is functioning this way. But that's enough talk. On to the repair. Reminder, if your computer is starting up but the screen is staying black, that's a different fix. The video is down below. If your computer is starting up but restarting over and over again, that's a boot loop. That's also a different issue. We have a link down below for that. Now, first of all, we're going to have you unplug your power cord and take out your battery. Now, this is the procedure that oftentimes when you call into warranty repair from your manufacturer or an IT support line, they'll have you do this procedure because it's just that effective. Now, once the battery is out, once the power cord is unplugged, now you're going to hold down your power button just like so, and you're going to hold it down for one whole minute. Now, after that one whole minute is up, you're going to go ahead and release your power button. What this does is it releases any sort of buildup that's in the system that could be preventing your computer from working properly. Now, if you find that this doesn't work, don't give up. We have two more parts uh, to this procedure. You're not done just with this first simple step. So you're going to put the battery back in and plug the power cord back in like you see us doing in this video. And once you've done that, you're going to try turning it on again. Now, if it doesn't work, now we're on to phase two. Once again, unplug your power cord and go ahead and take your battery out. And it's just that simple. And we continue on the same way as we did before. Now, we're going ahead and we're holding down that power button for one whole minute. Once that one minute is up, you go ahead and release the power button. Now, once you've done that, this is a part of the procedure, phase two that's a little different. We're going to put the battery back in like so. And once that's done, we are not going to plug the power cord back in. Now what this does, once you've released that buildup and you put the battery back in, if you find it miraculously turns on, then you know that there's a problem with your power cord. Your power cord is putting too much energy, putting too much power into the system, which is preventing your computer from working properly. Now, once again, there's phase three to this procedure. If this doesn't work, take out the battery, unplug the power cord, and we're going to do it again, and we'll do it a little differently this time. We're going to hold down that power button for one whole minute, like before, and then after that one whole minute, we're going to release the power button. And once again, this is the part that gets is different. Once you've released that power button, you're going to go ahead, and you're going to plug your power cord back in. And this time we're not going to plug the battery in and we're going to try turning it on again. And if it works, then you know once again there's a problem with your battery that is preventing the computer from turning on. Perhaps it's putting too much power into the system. That completes step one in our troubleshooting series. Go ahead and continue to the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, if you like free IT advice, or if you like being able to take care of your computer yourself, go ahead and subscribe. And from one egghead to another, this is Liz, signing out.